Hi guys, Techman here. Right, so about a year ago we took a look at the Explorer 500 from Jackery and we discussed the pros and the cons of this unit. I'll pop a link to that review in the description if you haven't already watched it. Now, as promised, I've cycled the Explorer 500 for an entire year. So this is just a quick one year update on how it has performed. And I must say it hasn't missed a beat. Okay, that's enough. I think you know what I mean. It has worked almost flawlessly. It's powered AC and DC loads without any issues. There's no significant reduction in capacity, despite about 70 or so complete cycles. And I'm still able to pull about 500 watts from this unit, which is great. So no obvious signs of degradation at this stage. You could say I have no complaints about this unit, bar one. If you've been listening attentively, you might have picked up me saying almost a few seconds ago. And in case you missed it, here it is again. It has worked almost flawlessly. And that's because the only issue I've had is with the SOC or state of charge indicator once the unit gets to below 10%. And this is something we discussed in my review last year. The Explorer 500 depletes rapidly once it gets to 10%. So that's just something you need to look out for. And to be honest, I was able to get more than 500 watts from the unit before it reaches 10% capacity. So you're not losing any power at all. You just have to be watchful once the remaining capacity reaches 10% according to the display. So, after an entire year of cycling. No, not that sort of cycling. So, after cycling the unit for an entire year, I must say I'm impressed with this performance. And if Jackery is your preferred manufacturer, and you can bear in mind the limitations discussed in my review last year, again, link in the description, the Explorer 500 may be a reliable solution for your portable power requirements, not to mention Jackery's exemplary customer support. Remember, I conducted a customer support experiment a few months ago. Link in the description. And spoiler alert, Jackery was the winner in my experiment by some distance. Now, having said all of that, I reiterate the Explorer 500 has its limits. It does lack some features which may be essential for many of you. Take USB-C for example. Now, I did send my recommendations to Jackery, and the R&D team has been working hard to come up with a new portable power station which is up to date. And if you've been following developments at Jackery, you're probably aware that earlier this year, they released the 1000 Pro and 2000 Pro power stations in the US market. And now, finally, the 2000 Pro has been launched in the UK and Europe. You can pick up the 2000 Pro and the new Solar Saga 200W solar panels from the Jackery website as well as your local Amazon store. And the 2000 Pro looks to pack the punch. Wait, 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 wait. Just hold on. Let's do that once again this time with a punch. The 2000 Pro looks to pack the punch. Ah, that's much better. The 2000 Pro seems to have put Jackery back on the map, and it joins an elite lineup of power stations in the 2000 watt hour circuit category. But is it any good? Well, there's only one way to find out. That's right, this here is the UK version of the Jackery SG2000 Pro. I know some of you have been asking me about the 2000 Pro and I'm excited to put it through its paces and see how it performs. Now, before I continue further with the 2000 Pro, you might ask, as someone who advocates and promotes the use of lithium iron phosphate chemistry cells in power stations, why in the world are you evaluating this unit when it houses lithium NMC cells? And if I'm being honest, that's a pretty good question. You're absolutely within your right to ask me, so let me explain. This is interesting. You see, earlier this year I took a short break away from my work life and from this channel. I made a short video about the importance of taking a break and giving yourself time to reflect on your life, your aspirations and your goals. Again, link is in the description. I didn't reveal it then, but I used the Jackery Explorer 500 to power my gadgets throughout my break. And it was on this break that I met a group of travellers. These guys relied on Jackery power stations like the Explorer 500 and the Explorer 1000 to power their gadgets and small appliances when they're away from the grid. And we had some meaningful discussions regarding portable power stations and lithium chemistries. At that point, I seized the opportunity. I highlighted the fact that lithium iron phosphate cells are now much more affordable. And the likes of Bluetti and EcoFlow have jumped onto the lithium iron phosphate boat, amongst other manufacturers. And without revealing my identity, I questioned what was holding Jackery back. What followed was a real eye-opener. And I am grateful I had the opportunity to listen to people living off-grid, and a great bunch of guys who represent a significant proportion of the RV community. You see, in each of their cases, portability far outweighed the chemistry employed by the manufacturer. Lithium NMC batteries are lighter, and have a better energy density than lithium iron phosphate batteries. This means you can pack a lot more power in the same space. 
and they need power stations that pack more power but is also portable and easy to carry around. They did have sound knowledge on the pros and the cons of lithium NMC and because they upgrade to new portable power stations every few years, longevity and cycle life is not that much of an issue to them. So you can imagine how thrilled they were to learn about the 1000 Pro and the 2000 Pro and how much they were looking forward to their release in the UK. And it was interesting just putting all my prejudices, biases and opinions on one side and hearing them out. Sort of listening to the other side of the argument. I found it to be a real eye opener and it certainly helped broaden my horizon when it came to the concept and importance of portability. I mean, take a look here. We have the Leog 2048 Watt Hour Portable Power Station and the Jackery 2000 Pro both in the same frame. The Jackery I can carry with one hand, no problem. Not just because of the sturdy foldable handle, but the weight is actually manageable. As for the Leoc, well, I struggled to carry with two hands, and I'm always left hurting afterward. It's a backbreaker, right? I mean, it's a great power station, but you'd want to keep it stationary, unless you can bench press the unit. And realistically, if you need the 2000 watt hour capacity and portability is paramount, the Jackery 2000 Pro is clearly going to be high up on your list to consider. So I hope this explains why I've decided to take a look at the Jackery 2000 Pro. Now, first impressions are good, it's a solid unit. It packs the 2160 watt hour lithium NMC battery pack rated at 1000 cycles to 80% depth of discharge. So not too far off lithium iron phosphate chemistry cells. I'm excited and looking forward to evaluating it and putting it to daily use. As standard, I cycle every unit for an entire month before revealing my observations and my evaluation on this channel. But given the large capacity of the 2000 Pro, I think I'm going to test it for about 6 weeks. And I hope to reveal my observations at the end of that period. Now, before I sign off, power stations can be expensive, and I always advise to cash in during sales and seasonal promotions. And Jackery is no different. I do find their prices a little on the higher end. But there are a bunch of deals available right now and throughout the year, as well as competitions, coupons, and generous giveaways by Jackery. So do check out Jackery website and sign up to their mailing list so you don't miss out on any of these promotions. The feedback I've had from you guys, and as well as the guys I spoke to during my trip, is that these offers from Jackery are very competitive you can grab yourself a good deal on the package as a whole. Bear in mind Jackery offer an extended warranty on direct purchases from their website as well as Amazon stores. So make sure you redeem the extended warranty for peace of mind. I'll provide the link to the Jackery website in the description. Just make sure you select the correct store for your geographical location. And again, none of the links in any of my videos are affiliated. I make no money from your purchase. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.